Let's make sure we're coming in live. And we should be. Nice. There we are, there we are. A little slow on the... Hopefully it's not buffering. There it is. Nice. Good morning, good morning everyone. I hope you're doing well. This is Chicho and welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is January 17th, 2021. And we're going to take a look at my mineral collection in close up, right? We did a couple of test runs on this uh, and I'll provide the links in the description of this video. And for those that are watching live, you would have seen it if you attended those live streams. And uh, this is something that I've been promising people uh, that I was going to do a long time ago because uh, we put out a video, I think like four years ago, five years ago or so, where uh, I showed everyone my uh, partner's uh, mineral and crystal collection. And um, that was fantastic going through it. And her, her collection is absolutely amazing, right? She worked in a crystal store for a number of years and she's been a mineral crystal uh, sort of aficionado for ever really so she's uh, amassed a very nice collection and uh, during that stream or during that video I mentioned that I have a collection as well and we were in boxes at the time and I finally ended up bringing them out of the boxes and displayed them and never got a chance to show them off so what I did uh, in the last couple of days was give everything a wash almost everything a wash some of the stuff that I washed fell apart on me so uh, you should be washing all your minerals and crystals and stuff like this the crystals are okay but the minerals uh, with water they interact and uh, react and they break apart right so i gave everything a wash they're nice and clean and it's a fantastic opportunity to take a look at them and as i've shown before in a couple other previous videos we got our new toy here this is um, sort of a desktop lamp magnifying lens and people in the previous couple of streams videos that we've loaded up people are like hey chicho did you know that uh, your lamp looks like a toilet seat <laughs> and indeed it does cheryl how are you doing me too i'm excited as well k2 b i i k2 b i how are you doing welcome welcome explore the world indeed explore the world right explore geology explore our landscape right cheese monkey how are you doing hey chicho good morning good morning good morning and it's a beautiful morning here as you can tell the sun is coming up like there's nothing like getting up in the morning gang by the way like if you're into rock hunting and just the outdoors and going for hikes and stuff there's nothing like getting up in the morning early sunrise and just going to nature right absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant uh pug the pug how are you doing <laughs> hello hello x how is life i hope you're doing well sad ape good morning good morning i hope uh this live stream makes you happy it's 7 p.m here oh 7 p.m you're europe europe no you're more than europe you're eastern europe you must be eastern europe yeah k2 where else uh where about are you around bulgaria uh tur tur turkey maybe in that region yeah hey chicho <laughs> pug is fine awesome i live in the baltics baltics cool 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 so you're 10 hours ahead 10 hours yeah 10 hours ahead very cool very cool good evening and evening walks in nature are fantastic as well right Eduardo hello hello cool rocks yeah thank you seriously I th this took me about what you're seeing here is about uh, about 10 years a decade's worth of just a random stuff there was a huge chunk of it was at the beginning stages of my me being in school and doing geophysics and going out in nature and then slowly uh, my work involved less being in uh, I did a lot more environmental work which was more related to cities and urban areas and stuff like this so i didn't get a chance to go out into the raw nature uh, so i my collection sort of halted halfway through my career as a geophysicist 
Webin, how are you doing? Hey Chicho and Chad, good morning, good morning. Bristol, Briss, Briss. Kieran, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, rock show, rock show, rock show, rock show. <laughs> I got some heavy metal here, check this out. <laughs> the ultimate heavy metal, Magnetite. Look at this one, right? This is Magnetite, this is the magnet, right? This is the magnet, and check this out right super cool super cool and i picked these out in nature right check it out <laughs> nice this is my daughter's science class today is your daughter's science class nice little comment awesome we're gonna go through it look uh, what we're gonna do is i'm gonna turn off my video the one that you see here so we get a whole view of the, the crystals and the rocks and the fossils, right? I used to know the names of a lot of these. I was looking for my cue cards where you get the name and name of different minerals and then you have the formulas at the back. I'll show you guys that once I find it. It's somewhere here. Okay, I saw it and I put it away for safekeeping, but I, I can't remember where I put it, right? I don't know most of the names of these rocks anymore and minerals and crystals and fossils but we're going to keep the chat going here hopefully people that know what these are will comment while we're taking a look at them right so it'll be sort of education reminder for me and for any of you guys that want to know what some of these things are okay and um, after the fact if people are watching this on We've got four different platforms where we're sharing videos now. If you know what some of these are, please make a comment in the description of the videos and slowly I'll start compiling lists the way we did with the previous mineral collection and put it all together in the description of the videos when we have them uploaded so we know exactly what's what. That would be fantastic. <laughs> like my, That would be fantastic. That way I'll have a record of what I do have, right? Hello, Hello, Lee Piggy. How are you doing? Cool. Excellent. Awesome. NVS, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Hey, all. My first stream, 2021. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. K2, redeeming 500 points. <laughs> hey, how are you? Nice, nice, nice. I'm doing great. Felix, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. I've been building up a small collection of crystals, fossils, and minerals. So I'm uh, excited for this. Awesome, awesome, Cheryl. Uh, oh, wow, thank you. Nice. Gang, I'm going to do my quick intro, and then we're going to get into this, right? i got two hours booked to do this. If we don't go through all of this in the two hours, we'll do another live stream. We'll show the rest of my collection, whatever is left over, and I'm going to start bringing out my partner's collection rock and mineral collection because i would love to take a look at some of those under the magnifying lens okay so as far as who i am i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about which is layered on mathematics patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything's creative commons share and share alike for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat which is like over here okay and get into the discussion and share information twitch is where you want to be at for those of you who are supporting this work on Twitch, following, sharing, liking, uh, subscribing for the Moss for taking care of business, thank you for doing what you do. Deck man, good morning, good morning. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, LOVK, Parlor, Gap, and Twitter. You can follow the work there, and we do have a Discord page, and you can come to our Twitch channel anytime you like, and in the chat, you can type in exclamation mark social and all the links to the social networks will pop up including the invite to our discord page where, where again people are sharing a lot of information okay for live streams when we don't have any visuals the audio will be uploaded to soundcloud as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting 
platform and we will be uploading this video this live stream to all four platforms that we're active on right now for sharing video which are youtube bitshoot uh, rumble and odyssey we just added rumble and odyssey this year to that repertoire so the library is not as large there well it's not large there there's only like four videos uh because we've done four videos so far in, in 2021 but slowly uh at some point i'm going to upload our whole library from youtube which is a thousand plus videos to all the other platforms bitshoot we've been active on for about three four years now so we've got a fair bit of uh content on there okay and you can support this work on those platforms by liking sharing subscribing and if you're on youtube they do have a means of joining youtube membership and the buttons down here gang let's start looking at the stuff let's start looking at the stuff no dilly dallying it's crystal mineral rock and fossil time i'm going to turn on the light on this mineral time okay and we're going to get to it i'm going to turn off my camera so we get a nice view of all the you know the minerals without me being in them right okay i'll see you guys after we take a look at as much as we can just before we have to end the stream which is a couple of hours from now okay see you guys soon gang and if you know what these are please comment uh in the chat or in the description of the video after it's been uploaded on the platforms see you guys soon or i'll be here anyway we're going to take a look at the collection gang what should we look at first oh my oh my now there's a, some of these that we already took a look at so let me show you this one for a test run we already took a look at it uh, but it was a night time let's see take a look at that now this is one of the rocks that i picked up i can't it was this was in canada i believe and it was a from an area that was being uh there was mining going on they were trying to do uh what were they looking for i can't remember what they were looking for most likely gold and silver or copper or whatnot so what you see here when you see a lot of colors like this a lot of these sort of resources that we get from the earth uh, occur in zones where there's a lot of other minerals appearing as well right so there's sort of tracer minerals indicator minerals where if you can find this then you can find that right this green here that you see that's got to be copper oxidized copper right so places where you see copper there's other types of minerals that you can find it's absolutely gorgeous and the, and the caverns in there right look at that oh my look at that look at that could be like a fade oh look at that you can see the light coming in from the other side cool very cool look at this one let's take a look at another one i'm gonna put these guys over here that way we start creating space take a look at this now this one we looked at really closely uh, on a previous just a little test run we were doing i believe this is a ruby right look at the shape on it right the crystal structure on it absolutely beautiful 
Right. Well formed. Right. And check this out. Here it is. Embedded. Now, I don't know. This could also be tourmaline. Okay. See that? I think this guy... might have been see if you look at this this is this guy here the little guy i don't know if you can see it it's got more of a greenish tint to it it's not flaky no it's not flaky like mica cheryl it's uh it's a solid crystal well mica's is crystal too but it's not flaky it's not layered right see that so the crystal structure is actually going in the edges, right? Going in like that. And you see the yellow here? This is oxidization. So it's got to be some ferrometallic here as well, right? And lots of quartz. Got to be lots of quartz. It's super cool that this part doesn't have any oxidization, but the upper part does, this part. Yeah, this must be a granite. I think this is a granite, but it's crazy that this thing was sort of embedded in it. Look at that. Or I guess the granite must have formed afterwards because it's encompassing it, right? So these are formed at different times, obviously. Right? First this formed, and then the molten rock must have come around it and hugged it, right? And cooled fairly fast because the crystals here aren't as large, right? So the bigger the crystal, the slower the cooling. Right. Super cool. Let's put these guys over. This one we took a little peek as as well. This is beautiful. This is one of the ones I love the most. I can't remember where I ended up getting this. This is the rose quartz. And little tiny weeny quartz crystals. Right. The other one, the reddish could have been garnet. Yeah, maybe. Just a universe on its own, eh? And these crystals, the quartz crystals, can be huge in huge chambers inside the earth, right? bottom of it Beautiful. I very much like this one. I think it's magnificent. Just imagine you can actually, like, the crystals can grow to be, each one of these could be larger than a human, right? Way larger than a human, right? Super cool.
check this one out. This is fool's gold, I believe, pyrite in there. All the gold color that you see there, those are all little pyrite crystals. They call those fool's gold. It's pretty heavy, right? Little teeny weeny pyrite crystals. They should be anyway. I don't know what the host material is though. Sean, Jojo. Every one of them looks amazing when you zoom in. Yeah, envious. Like this is actually the best close-up i've ever seen these crystals and i've had these with me like how many years 30 years some of these right if you ever get a chance look at some of these minerals in the microscope I don't know where I picked this. I think I got this from Ontario somewhere. Take a look at this. I love rocks as well, right? This is just straight up granite, right? But the beauty of it is you can see veins in it, right? So let's see if we can focus it nicely. Take a look. See the veins right so this is lots of quartz but quartz that have different types of uh you know heavier and certain types of minerals and others most of these yeah knights of old common most of these i found myself uh, some of these when were at when i took geo geology geophysics at school uh, we did a lot of field trips so i picked up a lot of these field trips where we went to quarries and mines and stuff like this uh, and sometimes when we went to little towns right when we went to little towns let's see if this is gonna focus <laughs> it's having a hard time focusing because it's like so white right when we went to little mines that were like in little towns there were like mom and pop like people that lived there in their homes in their basements they'd set up little mineral stores raw crystal mineral stores so they would go their business or part-time business was having schools come there with their field trips go to the quarries and then they would uh, uh, visit these little mom and pop homes where in the basement they'd set up like little stores where they're selling crystals and people would buy their crystals right and some of these more intricate ones i might have picked up from there what else should we look at take a look at this one this and this are the same okay Ah, uh, Jack, thank you very much for being here. I don't know what the host material here is, right? But what you see here is, I believe that is tourmaline. Little tourmaline crystals. Okay. Used to love those stores. Yeah, oh my God, crafter. They were amazing, amazing. Going to a going to somebody's home, and then they walk you down to a room in their house, 
usually in the basement or in the attic or something and they have like tons of tons like so many crystals and rocks and minerals and fossils that you know they found themselves and they're selling right like cool eh? like embedded crystals within some kind of host rock could the host be travertine marble could it oh i wonder i don't know uh, cheryl but this is like another one right could this be marble i would have to polish this baby up to see tourmaline there was a lot of tourmaline places we went to there was lots of tourmaline young marble very cool cheryl maybe maybe Corey's mines can also be such extreme spaces, almost sublime. Yeah, very cool. All right? Take a look. <laughs> here's uh, here's another one of those tourmalines. Oh no, this one is garnet. Maybe. Let me show you this one too. So let me put these guys aside. Check this out. Check that. See this? This crystal used to go all the way. It was this big and it popped out. You can see it's where it belonged, right? And here's the other end of it, right? So the middle piece is missing from this crystal. And I believe that it's got to be tourmaline. Might be garnet. The reason I'm seeing garnet, saying garnet, is because of another one right here. Take a look. Right there. But that could be uh, brown tourmaline as well. visit my family in Croatia we used to find rocks with fossils imprints all over all over the damage yeah that's very cool we'll take a look at some of my fossils after this one and then pretty sure this is black tourmaline I think so Cheryl I think that's black tourmaline right there right i've got a couple of nice tourmaline crystals i'll show you guys after this one actually before we look at the fossil so i got a feeling this has got black and brown tourmaline not garnet okay as far as the bigger tourmalines take a look at this this is tourmaline right you can see the striations let me make sure I can give show you the in focus see the striations there that's classic tourmaline structure right and this is the crystal see the striations just basically crevices right and then here's the tourmaline the same crystal structure right super cool and then again granite all around it and little bits of other minerals in there there's got to be lots of felspar in this Very cool. Right. And this 
granite. We're lucky we live in a place where there's lots of granite and stuff. And I believe this one, no, this one is not tourmaline. Here, let me show you this. Let's, let's take a look at some of the fossils. This one and this one, check this out. Look at that. I believe this is coral that's turned into rock, uh, going under metamorphosis, sponge. Looks like honey, um, honeycomb, doesn't it? Beehive. Coral, yeah? Yeah, I think so. And what happens with uh, this stuff? When these things get buried, slowly there's a word for it where the coral minerals are replaced with uh, other types of min minerals and it fossilizes. Right. So this is a coral fossil. And here is, I believe this is another one. Look at that. Let's get it focused. See that? host is cool I think there's a crystal there very cool here's another one take a look at this one Look at that and look at the vein going through right there yeah you can do uh, carbon dating on these to figure out how old they are for sure and depending on where you pick them up at the location if you make notes you can find out uh, the outcrop the bedrock how old it is like date the bedrock or date the the location that you did the fossil hunting in, right? Wouldn't you love to know what happened during this coral's life that caused that vein? Yeah, indeed. Indeed. And the vein could have happened after, right? After fossilization. could be a crack formed and other minerals went in there and uh, just crystallized ah smith the man the legend cool so those are my false the coral fossils in one shot should we look at some of the other fossils look at this what is this? This is a mishmash of what can you see there? Volcanic ash, maybe the coral one. Yeah, it did actually. Let's see. Let's get this thing focused. So this is like so many you can find a fair bit of these where there's just like 
fossilized like shells and creatures that have just been all mushed together and just turned into a gob of fossils and I believe these are fossils We can see uh, more defined on here. You can pick out a lot more stuff. just shells and just this one I don't know Cheryl I wish I knew I wish I remembered a lot of these I would have picked up in Ontario or Quebec I uh, should there, there would have been uh, some that I picked up in uh, in BC as well. Look at that one. Look at this. It's just everything gobbled up together. This would have been uh, on a seabed, I'm assuming, that it just kept on getting buried and just fossilizes. This would have been Ontario, I'm pretty sure. Really, really old, really, really old. Take a look at this one again, another one, All right? But you can sort of see the fossils better now. They're not as small. you can do is uh, with a lot of these things you can clean this stuff up with some acid solution and just get better definition of the fossils any trouble man I used to have a full uh, well check this one out I think Cheryl said this was a certain type of trilobite see this but I used to have a full trilobite like defined trilobite I gave that away to one of my friend's daughters. She was like, I think like six or seven at the time. And she saw it and she's like, oh, this is so beautiful. And I gave it to her. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful trilobite, like a perfect specimen. No, that's not a trilobite, but could be sea lily stem, sea lily stem. So this one could be a sea lily stem. There are different types of uh, the trilobites have the head they look like basically cockroaches like undersea cockroaches or something right show you this one let me make some room here for myself <laughs> moving things around here's another one take a look again the same structure here Here's a seashell, beautiful seashell. 
right? See that? Just fossilized seashell. Pretty cool. That looks like another seashell. Let me show you this big one. Now this is some kind of creature. What it is, we don't know. I don't know. And then here's the head of one. Here's another one, right? This, I believe, is part of a trilobite. <laughs> Hilarious. Now look at this. Little chunks coming off. Should we take a little bit off? Should we do a little exploration? Let's do a little exploration game. I'm going to take this off. Let's see what's under there. And this is shale, by the way, right? Should we take this one off too? We're gonna take it off. This has been with me for 30 years. And this is what you can do. You can take the stuff off. Who's in there? <laughs> clap, 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 yes, please. Wow, look at this, more coming off. And this is the way you can find beautiful gems like not gems but beautiful specimens of uh, fossils you go to these types of outcrops like shale outcrops and start taking layers off and then like i've done this that's how i found my beautiful trilobite i went in there and i started taking layers off and i took one of these things off and it was a perfect specimen of a trilobite right But we're not going to take any more off. That's good. Did a little experiment. <laughs> right. Let's see what's under it. Right. And these are like jaggedy here. Look at that. You can barely see any of the fossils, right? But you can see, I guess these are imprints of it. And here's the side. Right. A lot of the green, I'm assuming, is some kind of olivine or olivine. Right. And there's the part where it took off, right? This one wants to come off too. Ah, uh, maybe not. This one. Uh, it's a little loose but we leave it alone cool i'm gonna leave this one here because it's really big and we'll just pick out rocks and take a look at them here's another one fossils i believe these are fossils difficult to tell on this one and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs sorry if i'm not catching them all looking at the rocks and the minerals and the crystals 
crystals. I don't know if this has got any fossils in there. But it's a beautiful specimen. I love it. It's been really oxidized here. So it's really rough. This part. And this part is smooth. Okay. So this would have been exposed. This part would have been exposed to the elements. So rain and whatnot. It just dissolves some of it. Right. And then this is the smooth part. And it is layered, right? So you could technically just peel that off. And I'll show you one out here. Let me put this one down. Let me show you this. Ooh. This is one of my, I'm about to show you one of my favorite pieces. Okay. It's just a sedimentary rock that's been metamorphized to me it's like a cliff right you look at it right it's heavy for sure right so this would have been a sedimentary rock that's been weathered a lot so this is really rough in there right and i love this type of terrain see that And if you scale this up, that's like an overhanging cliff part where people would rock climb up. And take a look at this. The reason that this is one of my favorites, take a look. What type of rock and fossil finds are valuable? Oh, it depends. The bigger the... Uh, complete fossils are valuable right if they're not in pieces so you can find a fossil that's complete trilobites there's a lot of trilobites around right but if you find the bigger the fossil the more complete the specimen the more valuable it is and of course the rare ones which i don't know which ones they are take a look at this one this is layered right the top comes off <laughs> You could actually probably dig all that out and make it a, like a box. And this green, I'm pretty sure it's got to gotta be lots of olivine in there, right? Got to be lots of olivine in there. But it's super cool that it's, it's like a top that comes on. See that? It's got its own lid. Super cool. Super cool. I love this specimen. I love this rock. It's a metamorphic, I'm positive it's a metamorphic. Question is, uh, it's a sedimentary rock that became metam metamorphized, right? Cool. Here, let me show you these big pieces too. Here's another metamorph, well, weathered rock i guess i guess this is sandstone maybe and basically what you see here is just water right it's like fingerprints but water prints I believe this is sandstone. It's got a sandy feel to it. And Knights of O'Connor, geodes are, uh, can be on the expensive side. And geodes are sort of from volcan volcanoes where, uh, or magma chambers, I guess, could happen too. But I think more volcanoes where they spew out big chunk of molten rock and the inside the outside cools really fast and the inside cools slow and the crystals form here's a couple of granites right different mineral composition okay this one's got more olivine and uh and the darker 
minerals here, they tend to weather faster. Okay. So when you pick up a granite like this, I believe anyway, uh, actually all of it is fairly weather resistant. Uh, but a lot of these guys, Actually, do you find olivine with granites? Now I'm questioning myself. I gotta remember my geology again. Knights of Volcano Chicho, Fiona just wanted me to ask you if you had any geodes. Uh, no geodes. My partner actually has a mini geode, I believe. The geodes tend to be on the expensive side and they tend to be very heavy. Like if I had a geode, the odds of me being able to pick it up and show it to you right now, if it was a larger one, would basically be zero. If it was a little geode, I could. Geodes are super cool. Geodes are amazing. It's like a universe on its own. And so many different crystals, types of crystals and stuff you can get. And then you got this one. And a lot of this, uh, these little specks would be micas as well. Okay. Let's see if we can get it focused. Take a look. Lots of little micas. And it's got the iron in there as well because you're getting the uh, rusty look on it. I love granite marble and granite I really do love weathered look at that look at the weathering on that super cool super cool So those are a couple of granites and let me show you this one this one i love the color on it and the different structures on it look at that so let me show it to you large right. and then let's take a close-up of it That's what the Decepticons were looking for. <laughs> awesome. They can't have it. They can't have it. I got Optimus Prime and, and the gang looking out for me. The red has got to be... I, you know what? I don't know. I don't even want to guess what the red is. It's got to be some kind of iron related mineral right and then the the white has got to be quartz clay of some sort yeah yeah metamorphic but it's not clay because it's met it could be metamorphized clay right like it's solid like it's a solid rock right and then you have the black pieces there. Take a look. And then you got the quartz. It looks like a layered clay. I've never seen anything like it. It's very cool. I love this piece. Very weird. Very cool. 
cool. This one. This one is heavy as well. Take a look. This has got a lot of mini, 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 mini pyrites in there, I believe. It's beautiful, thank you. Thank you, nature, for providing us such amazing, amazing rocks. Unique. This one would definitely be some kind of, uh, like it feels like, seriously, like it should be from outer space, solid rock, heavy that made it through the atmosphere, didn't burn up. That's from the moon. This has got to have, like, look at that. You're getting a nice gold color she from that I believe all those little crystals are little pyrites ah thank you Vagu thank you should we look at a large crystal here's a large crystal here's a quartz crystal with yellow minerals in there look at that sulfur maybe take a look Beautiful. Let me show you this. Yeah, let me put this over here so we know we looked at that. Oh yeah, let me show you these guys. These are micas. These are the little black specks that you see in the granites that we looked at. These are like layered micas. It's like sheets, right? Let's see if it focuses. Difficult. Right. And it's like flaky but fairly solid, okay? You can see little bits coming off right there. And this is quartz. So mica appears with quartz a lot and feldspars. Feldspar, feldspars weather faster. And I'll show you feldspars after this so you know what feldspars are, all right? And you can flake it off. It's like got a glass feel to it. Okay. Yeah, let me take this away. Maybe we'll learn. We'll be able to focus on it. It's so small. It's not doing it. There it is. See the glass like feel to it. And then this is aluminum. Heavy mica, which is super cool right so these are the black ones i forget what what's what's the main thing in there for the black ones but this is an aluminum mica here's another speck of it that's falling off right this is aluminum mica 
See the layering there? That's how it forms. That's the crystal structure of it. It's flat. It's like paper, right? Aluminum mica. Look at that. Super cool. Nice to have you here, Diet Dyke. Now, let me show you this. Let me put these guys here. This is a core sample that I got from. Now, oh, this guy's heavy. Let me move these guys aside. From the deepest mine at the time, anyway, in the 1990s in North America. And it was believed, I believe, it was one of the deepest mines in the world at the time it went down like <laughs> one of your favorite guilty pleasures is feeling like it feels it's super cool eh? now check this out this is a core sample that i got and this is a chunk that came off of it like it broke off how is this broken off <laughs> let's see I don't know if we can put it back together or not, right? But take a look. And this was from Sudbury. Grow it for us. You like all these nice. The, this is from Sudbury, Ontario. And there used to be an active mine there. I don't know how active it is anymore, where it was part of a meteor impact. And there was a gigantic area which a lot of minerals uh, were consolidated that people were mining right and this was from i forget how deep we went like six clicks i can't remember how deep it was it was insanely deep the deepest like i said deepest mine it was one of the largest of mining operations in the world uh in the 1990s it was the deepest mine in North America at the time. And when we went down there, we were being given a tour and there was huge machinery down there and you know, a lot of people working. And we went to the main area where uh, the main uh, sort of the cockpit where they're doing the operations, monitoring everything. And they brought the amazing silver and blues. Yeah, they brought some core samples that they were taking to you know see what kind of vein they could find there was gold there there was lots of different types of minerals and stuff right so this core sample is like from a few kilometers down into the earth and you know they asked people who you know we have these core samples we've already looked at them analyzed them does anybody want one and i said yes please so i grabbed this core sample from deep down into the earth uh, during one of my field trips in school to them it was just another core sample to me it was a treasure right and I think out of all of us as students that were down there there was only a couple of us that grabbed one of these Chicho what types have you found in the Pacific Northwest oh Pacific Northwest you see a lot of crystals like quartz crystals like like this one that we looked at like there's a lot of uh, bedrock related uh, crystals okay there's a lot of mining here as well look at that beautiful so a lot of uh, granite uh, marble a lot of metamorphic rocks a lot of sedimentary out here on the west coast there there aren't too many fossil fossils that you can find if you go to alberta you'll find a lot of fossils huge alberta and saskatchewan tons and tons of fossils yeah. west coast is too young for fossils yeah this is i love this thing okay let's put this guy back there create some space for us let me show you this one 
here's another one so this is the type of stuff you would find on the pacific uh pacific northwest right or pacific um on the west coast of canada lots of crystals like because these are basically formed in magma chambers and whatnot right most of the fossils in alberta are millions of years old most of the fossils in saskatchewan are about are between 75 and 80 million years old really super cool smith super cool See if you'll focus in. There we go. Get a better close up look at this. Alberta, for, for me and a lot of people, West Coast is west of the Rockies, really. Fiona says this may be uh, igneous. Yeah, lots of igneous rocks. Igneous, metamorphic. There are some sedimentary rocks here as well, by the way. Right? But a lot of uh, outcrops of igneous rocks and basaltic. There's a lot of basaltic as well. Right? And just to give you a comparison of the size of the crystals between the other one, right? so this one versus this one and this one's more pure quartz this one's got more impurities in it because it's got the darker look to it right <laughs> i want the crystal rock <laughs> uh, so here's another one lots and lots of this one's sharp like this one's super sharp look at that look at the sharpness of these right so i got lots of quartz crystals and heavy in different types of minerals Look at the sharpness of those, eh? Dangerous. And then on the bottom, they like littler. Still sharp. Look at that one. That one looks crazy cool. Look at that one. Solid rock. Solid crystal. Super cool. I like this right yes here's another igneous rock right with I don't know what the black guys are I love igneous. Right. Any noteworthy rocks to find on a rocky beach here? Um, no, good question. <laughs> good question. Beach, when you go to the beach, I just like picking up rocks from the beach. I have a bunch here that I picked up from beach. Like I have a whole bunch of little rocks here. Let me show you. 
Where's my some of my beach rocks? Where did I put them? Where is my beach rocks? I'm looking for my beach rocks. Oh, where are they? Oh yeah, this is the feldspar I was mentioning. Take a look. This appears with uh, with uh, with igneous rocks a lot, and this is the crystal structure of it, right? You get that little that look. It's not really. I guess I I guess it's called striations as well. But take a look. So this is the crystal structure you see of feldspars, and these are fairly resilient to weathering as well, just like quartz. So the basaltic minerals they weather uh oh what's going on did we stop streaming did we buffer uh oh uh oh you can hear me but the picture's uh frozen yeah hopefully the picture could kick in your perlite your perlite i don't know your perlite uh oh we might have to stop the stream and start it again gang should we do that i think that's what we need to do the picture's frozen are the striations smooth yeah they are smooth when you run your feet uh, yeah they're not like tourmaline okay they're not like tourmaline they are smooth When you run your finger over them or are they rough chat is coming through on stream too yeah chat is coming through on stream that's weird i don't think we've ever had this problem before chat is coming through on the stream but the video is not hmm yeah me too yeah it's popping up for me as well i don't think we've ever had this problem before camera reboot unplug should we oh haven't done this okay gang if we lose the stream i'm gonna take the camera off and then unplug it and replug it back in i think it's a video capture issue with obs so if this doesn't work we're gonna end the stream and i'm gonna come back parmesan jeans <laughs> okay i'm unplugging the camera and i'm gonna plug it back in if it doesn't work i'm gonna restart the stream and we'll wait about five minutes before we keep on going okay see you guys soon let's check it out no it's not working okay gang we're gonna end the stream and we're gonna start back up again okay sorry about this